so hey guys what's up welcome to my channel and in this video we'll be solving one of the problems in the lead code on the pre-order traversal of the generic tree right so if you're new to my channel do hit like and subscribe to my channel till then enjoy the video so far so good now we have already been discussing this about the generic tree what are basically the generic trees in the previous video if you haven't watched that you can go and always watch them right i'll be putting that in the description right and here we'll be seeing about the pre-order traversal right so what are basically the pre-order traversal in case of normal binary trees we have a node then we have its child right suppose i have this one as a root node it has a two as a child left child and right child as three right so what is the pre-order traversal of it it will be one two and three right but here in case of nre trees we can't have only left and right as we have discussed in the previous video it can have any number of nodes so what i can do is essentially we'll be calling or pushing the value each time we are on the node right suppose i am on the root node initially i'll push this value into the resultant array right after pushing that i will recursively call for the child nodes it has right once i am pushing this value current value into the array right after that i will be calling for the child that means i will recursively call for this node from left to right right as it has in the dynamic array it will be called from left to right and once when we call for this now at this point this node will be again pushed into the resultant array right after that it will again call for its you know like recursive call for its child and it has as in this case it has no childs here so it will not call and it will return back to its previous call right similarly it will again call for this node it will push its value and then again call for its subsequent childs right so let's now head over to the lead code and see how it can be done so i have already sent or tested it before right so let us write again this code and hopefully we will enjoy this because let's now make a resultant array that we want to return at the final right so basically the problem says that it is given a root node right we need to find the prior traversal of this right as we have discussed in the one node itself right so we'll be going through the code initially this will be the resultant array that we want to return finally right now for the base case i will write if root would be null right i will be returning the answer that is the resultant array we don't need to push anything we'll directly return from here right so now if it is not so i'll be calling recursively for the root right to get the you know like the resultant array that we want to return right so for that i will be taking two parameters one would be say root and the other would be resultant array and i am taking this as a reference and i'll be calling here in the recursive function as a reference and finally when i when we have the resultant array in the answer i'll return this answer right so that's pretty much it in the function now we'll head over for the recursive function right so it will be a void function and its name is solve as we have declared before and it has a node pointer of root and has a vector resultant array that we want to return right so this is how we write it and first what i have said here is that whenever i am at root 1 right i'll initially push this value into the resultant array then i will recursively call for its child nodes right so what i'll do is i will initially push it to the resultant array like so and what is the value that is roots val and now i'll be recursively calling for its child so how i can do i know that each of these vectors that is a vector children the property that the root has as a vector children right it will have a node pointer that's why i am iterating for every node pointers in the roots children vector right and once i have done that i will when i find a child like here i can find a child that is 3 i'll recursively call for 3 so i'll now recursively call for 3 that is x in this case now again the second parameter will be answer and that's pretty much it let's some run run this code and see how it does right hopefully this will work yes it does and once i hit on submit i think this will work so guys yes that's success and you can see it works right so hope you guys enjoyed my video till then stay tuned see you in the next video